Uh, Councillor Mark Ingle, leader of Harlow Council. Permitted developments have come up yet again in the news. Government proposals, fresh proposals. Um, the whole country is worried about this, but of all the places in the, in the country, one place that should be concerned more than others is Harlow. Isn't that correct? You're absolutely right. Permitted development rights from um, 2013, done under the guise of cutting red tape, has been a disaster for Harlow and for many other towns around the M25. I fear that permitted development rights too, um, recently announced, is likely to make the problem even worse. Although one of the arguments is that there are good examples, there is examples of good practice, is there not? Well, absolutely. We have and I've said this many times, we have no ideological objection to repurposing uh, redundant buildings for housing, as long as it's the right building, in the right place, it's redeveloped to proper space standards, and the mix of tenants that are put in there um, is the right mix of tenants that works for the town and also for the tenants themselves. One of the advantages at the moment is, that as opposed to being a sort of voice crying in the wilderness, you seem to have plenty of people backing you up at the moment you know you've seen it in the news this week you know whether it's articles published in the guardian the town and country um planning association mary parsons some place mm. of people so you're a lot of there's a lot of vocal concerns here that does that help is that helping you well absolutely when you have uh, hugh ellis of the town and country planning association saying this is a bad day a bad deal for communities and a sad day for local democracy when you have the Royal Institute for British Architects saying this is shameful and it has every chance that it will lead to the next generation of slum housing. When you have Shelter describing it, um, this as social housing could face extinction as a result of these proposals. When the Campaign for the Protection of Rural England describe it as pitiful and when um, these proposals have been slammed by the Wildlife Trust and the mild-mannered trowel-wielding archaeologists there is clearly something very, very wrong. Uh, this is being done under the guise of making it easier. But let's remember that 90% of all planning applications are approved. It's not planning that is the hold up to building houses. So is there any time scale now? Are you just keeping it a watching brief and what, what can you do? Well, look, I'll work with um, neighbouring authorities. I want to bring this to the public's attention. Um, the Labour Party are very clear that decision-making about planning should be locally accountable. At the moment, residents can have their voices heard when a plan is put forward and again at the planning stage. Imagine walking down your local um, road seeing a house being built or a group of houses or a block of flats being built and when you say hang on I don't know about this being told oh we should have dealt with the regulations eight years ago local people must have a voice in planning